was the night before Christmas, when all through the edifice, not a creature was stirring, neither Mouse nor Saint Nicholas. The stockings were hung by an aperture gaping, where smoke in its wisdom had ere been escaping. Downstairs my uncle was strapped down in bed, while visions of ichor danced round in his head. His nightmares of late had been growing much stronger, and sense dared not trespass his mind any longer. Once a learned professor at Brown University, my great uncle had often in secret conversed with me in his study at night over manuscripts moldering, with a pipe at his lips always lambent and smoldering. All that research of his into cults esoteric, strange symbols and glyphs and arcane numerics of that Dutch survey crew and their frenzied report of a vast arctic city filled with sunken-faced dwarfs, and that journal recovered from one Ensign Lamar, which references he that rides beasts through the stars, gloaming and heaving with corpulent dread, bloated, batrachian, and covered in red. And then there's the relic in my uncle's display, a four-sided top carved of wood or some clay with symbols engraved into each of its sides that surely must tell of coming end times. I was pondering this manifold doom that would smite us when out from my window shone a miasmal brightness, how the pale gibbous moon shone down on his back, which bulged with the throngs of some hideous sack. Ho, 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 ho. With some alien ululations in a primordial tongue, he froze me in place, and unable to run, I was forced to bear witness to things vile and foul, so unspeakably horrid, I can scarce speak them now. He summoned his steeds by their blasphemous names. With his gangrenous grasp, he pulled down on their reins. Then suddenly, upwards that noxious horde flew, that red-bellied nightmare rising up from my view. Demoniacal laughter I heard from my roof, and then lumbering clumps from thick octopoid hoofs. Then repugnant and hoary, his stench filled the air, while he writhed down my chimney as I watched from the stairs. He spoke not a sound, and then off from his back, he heaved up that thick, throbbing cyst of a sack, and from it a stench came so charnel and dense that I nearly passed out when he drew from it thence an Amazon Kindle and a few pairs of nice socks, a sweater, a tie, and Call of Duty Black Ops, Law and Order Season 5 on Blu-ray DVD, and an espresso machine. Hope he kept that receipt. Then all at once swung round this tenebrous being with his dark ancient eyes of unfathomable seeing, their biliferous blackness spanning eons extinct and revealing my own maddened fate with a wink. Then into that monolith of chimney he lurched, with the gelatinous frenzy of invertebrate birth. Ripping free to the roof, he launched into the night with a vow to return. When the stars are just right. Right.